بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد His body is an amana Prevention is better than cure We need to look after this trust and don't wait for things to go wrong Then search for resources to remedy the problem In the Quran and Hadith a lot of emphasis has been made on Tibet and Nabawi amongst them is the olive. In ancient times it was regarded as liquid gold. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about the olive in the Quran. وَشَجَرَةً تَخْرُجُ مِن ثُورِ سَيْنَا تَنْبُتُ بِالدُّهْنِ وَسِبْغِ لِلْآكِلِينَ The tree springing out of Mount Sinai which produces oil and relish for those who use it as a food, as a means of consumption. Ibn Abbas explains, It is that oil from the olive tree which is consumed and used for rubbing on the body. وَجَنَّاتٍ مِّنْ أَعْنَابٍ وَالزَّيْتُونَ And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who sends down rain from the sky produce gardens of grapevines and olives. وَالنَّخْلَ وَالزَّرْعَ وَالزَّيْتُونَ And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala causes gardens to grow crops of different food and olives يُنْبِتُ لَكُمْ بِهِ الزَّرْعَ وَالزَّيْتُونَ Allah causes to grow for you crops, olives. Then الله نور السماوات والأرض يُقَد مِنْ شَجَرَةٍ مُبَارَكَةٍ زَيْتُونَ Allah is the light of the heavens and the earth and the example of Allah's light is like a niche within it a lamp, a lamp within a glass, the glass as if they were white shiny star lit from the oil of the blessed olive tree. وَزَيْتُونَ وَنَخْلَى The olive and the palm tree and the very famous ayat which generally people commonly quote وَالتِّينِ وَالزَّيْتُونَ by the Qasam Allah is taken in oath on the fig and the olive. Mujahid Hassan say teen, teen nukum, zaytun, zaytun nukum. A commentary is the normal fig and olive which you normally consume. According to Qatada and Kaab, Masjid al Tamishk and Baytul Maqdis. But Alama Tabri in his tafsir says the correct opinion in Dana. قال التين هو التين الذي يؤكل والزيتون هو الزيتون الذي يؤثر. So the olive which we normally extract olive oil لأن ذلك هو المعروف إن العرب. And that was the common product that was known amongst the Arabs and what is utilized in those days. نعم السواق الزيتون. Nabi عليه السلام said the best of the siwaks. That should be used, and this was discussed in the chapter of the miswak, is the olive miswak min shajaratim mubaraka from the blessed tree. Alaykum bi hadhi shajaratil mubaraka zayt al zaytun that holds steadfast unto this mubarak tree, the tree of the olive. Fatada wa bihi. Seek your cure. Seek remedy from it, indicating that in it there is remedy. Like somebody gives you a map and tell you this is a map to a treasure. Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam has indicated to the treasure of shifa and cure. And in it there is a cure for hemorrhoids, piles, etc. Kuluz zayt wa atadimu bihi wa dahinu bihi. That consume this 
olive, this olive oil massage it over your bodies, utilize it on your bodies, rub it, apply it on yourselves. كُلُوا الزَّيْتُ وَالدَّهِنُوا بِهِ فَإِنَّهُ مِنْ شَجَرَةٍ مُبَارَكَةٍ Eat from the olive tree and utilize its oil, for indeed it is a Mubarak blessed tree. So a lot of emphasis has been placed, we should make it part of our daily routine, the olive oil with the honey water which we have in the morning try to consume, we've discussed this previously as well, but one of the ingredients to add on was olive oil. When you are using the olive, so that's the oil, and the, the olive itself try to have maybe three, five, seven, nine, a, a, a quantity before you eat meals, try to make your first lukma olive. When we search in for this product, let us make sure it is certified organic, non-GMO. It should be cold pressed because any other procedure will reduce and destroy the natural ingredients. Then unrefined, it should be unrefined if we can get it, extra virgin and without the use of any heat or chemical refining process and without any preservatives or additives. What's in the olive amongst the very valuable ingredients, vitamin E, which is a powerful antioxidant, iron, which is important for RBC to transport oxygen, copper, which is an essential mineral, mineral and uh, is known to prevent heart disease calcium, essential for bone, muscle, nerve function, sodium, then other ingredients and compounds, particularly antioxidants, which is uh, most abundant oxidant in olives is oleuropine, then hydroxytyrosol, tyrosol, oleanolic acid, etc. We will get into each one, inshallah. So generally the hadiths utilize it on your external and internal. External, it moisturizes the skin. Vitamin E, which is an oxidant that protects, preserves the skin from external factors, sun rays, etc. And uh, it assists also in skin health. So a person who has skin disease, skin cancer, psoriasis, inflammation, acne, it is beneficial. Then the in thing nowadays and has been always the thing in the past, anti-aging property. So we want to live forever and look young forever. So as a person ages, the skin starts to sag, it develops wrinkles by applying olive oil and it is topically and inducing consumption wise it will has been proved to be beneficial likewise on the skin if a person has cracked skin cracked heels apply olive oil there's a method different methodologies of using it in applications we need to do research then for the hair it keeps the hair very healthy the sunnah of nabi alayhi salatu wasalam to put oil Every evening he should put so much oil that he had a special cloth to prevent the soiling of his imama. So one of the ingredients in the hair oil that we use is olive oil as well, which keeps the hair healthy, helps fight hair loss and uh, magnesium, zinc, false, sulfur, calcium, etc. helps in the hair. They also recommend it to use as a pre-shampoo treatment. So before a person goes in a shower, apply it on the scalp. Then with regards to the nails, it improves nail health. It can help prevent diabetes. So sugar control, according to a Harvard school report, a diet rich in mono and polyunsaturated fats, which is in olive oil can prevent diabetes as well. In the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, 
as well have shown that it reduced the risks of diabetes. Then when a person old age Alzheimer's disease got into scientific American, oleocanthal, which is in olive oil, can prevent this disease. The American Chemical Society research has also proven this. Then with regards to the bones, because this calcium, it makes the bones stronger, it strengthens the bones. Uh, people who've had a, a Mediterranean and the olive oil and the olive diet is, is synonymous with the Medita Mediterranean diet, which is found in olive oil, which people in that area have stronger bones. And then people who have dep depression, so it increases the levels of serotonin. This is a brain chemical and when there's a shortage, a person goes into depression. So it's an antidepressant. Then the golden benefit, which everybody on earth is searching for, after youth is weight loss. So a study in the Harvard School of Public Health shows that it aids in weight loss. Then controlling the cholesterol it relieves constipation, so gastrointestinal tract and colon sickness disease, a person who is consistent in olive oil, it stimulates the digestive system and uh, it aids regularly in preventing constipation. So even a person who has issues with the colon and uh, because of it being rich in vitamin E, K, I, and omega-3, 6, and antioxidants, it helps the digestive tract. Then people who have kidney problems, kidney stones, it can disease, disease. it can remove this sickness by dissolving kidney stones. Then a person who has a, a lot of uh, excess earwax, it can prevent and remove wax from the ears. It's known to help preventing strokes. So older people who went and utilized olive oil, they found that there was a greater chance of being protected from a stroke. Then for pain relief, so olive oil is known because of the compound oleocanthal. It's an anti-inflammatory agent. And uh, that's why it's a pain reliever. Then it acts as a protection against anemia. So people who are anemic, it enhances fertility, the reproductive system. It's a natural aphrodisiac. Plays an important role in maintaining the immune system. So during COVID, when black seed, honey, etc. was emphasized, also olive oil was to be part of the diet. Likewise, it has antibacterial properties. So it contains many nutrients can inhibit or kill harmful bacteria. So bacterium that lives in the stomach and can cause stomach ulcers and stomach cancer. Test group studies have also shown that using extra virgin olive oil fights different strains of bacteria, bacterium, and it's like an antibiotic. So they the different 15, 20, 30, 40, 50 grams, whatever it is, but in the first early part of the morning, we should try to have a routine to take olive oil. In recent times, 1997, 16 researchers got together and they recommended consuming olive oil as it had a lot of many benefits. So a team of scientists, researchers got together and they prepared an entire report with regards to this year. So researchers said that the high consumption of olive oil for people in Mediterranean countries showed an increase in health in with regards to cholesterol in a in a report from the Texas Texas Institute of Cardiology they found that people or countries which have a high consumption of olive oil have low incidences of coronary artery disease 
And uh, with regards to cholesterol as well, that uh, the island of Crete have the lowest rate of coronary heart disease in the world. This is renowned. And why? Because they have a high consumption of olive oil. So generally, the hardening and narrowing of arteries, which eventually leads to a lot of issues. Now, olive oil is an antioxidant and it contains vitamin E, which is an antioxidant, then different compounds like polyphenol, which protects against the hardening of the arteries. So scientific studies have proved that uh, it low lowers the overall cholesterol levels and uh, it promotes and it has good cholesterol. So according to a uh, research in 1995, they confirmed that consuming extra virgin olive oil, research have found that due to self-oxidization of the oil, which is, we discussed, a preservative, and uh, LDL, this is very beneficial for lowering cholesterol. With regards to thrombosis as well, uh, in a American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, 1999 researchers showed that a diet rich in olive oil would uh, lessen the cause of thrombosis and reduce the rates of con coronary artery disease. Then a Lancet study in 1999 showed that, for example, a country like Albania, the death rate is less compared to the rest of Europe. And they attributed to, amongst the causes was, excess consumption of olive oil. And a person who is habitual of taking olive oil, it reduces high blood pressure as well. So studies were done on this, and it proved that people and patients who had very high blood pressure, if they started consuming olive oil, then the blood pressure, great significant reduction. Then cancer as well. So one in five deaths of Europe is through cancer. La ilaha illallah. So studies have shown that because of the ingredients and the research in the University of Munster in Germany have shown that uh, olives protect against cancers, cancers of the colon, the uterus, the ovary. Generally in women also breast cancer is common as well. So studies in 1995 where 2,500 women was conducted and uh, it showed that people who were consuming, consuming olive oil and it was part of the diet and the research of 60,000 women between 46 and 70 showed that whoever was consuming the olive oil, there was a greater chance that they would not get this cancer. Then cancer of the uterus research was done, stomach cancer, colon cancer, skin cancer, research was done in the dermatology institute and they found that a person who consumes olive oil and utilizes it, they are protected also from tumors, then stomach ulcers, then mothers who have children and they're giving them milk as well, beneficial, olive oil and rheumatoid arthritis. So joint pain, feet pain elsewhere, scientists in the American Journal have done research on patients and they found that olive oil protects one against this disease up to an extent where even if there's lice in the head, then this has been used and implemented on children to kill lice as well. So Allah and His Nabi have advised us for benefits of dunya and akhirat, let us be part of this year. The amal for today, to stay low profile of the grad, yushiku ay yakuna khayra malil muslim ghanamun. A time will come with the best wealth of a muslim, will be his sheep, means of the grid, where, 
that in the mountain peaks and the catchment areas, he's of the grud. Yafiru bidinihi min al fitan. He will run away from these fitnas, fleeing with his deen to be protected from the trials and tribulations of that zamana. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq and make an amal. Wa akhiru da'wana anilhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.